place to be. We come here. We've been coming here for over 30 years, and we love it, and we don't miss it every year. Well, we come here every year. We love yeah, in California. Me, 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 like oh, yeah. my wife, and my kids. We, we come every year <laughs> yeah. from California for like 10 days, and then we go back, and we've been doing it for. I've been coming here since 1974. My name is okay. Sam. Okay. Uh, we are Chaldean from Iraq. Uh, really, when we came here, we enjoyed it because uh, beautiful church, beautiful people here. And uh, we've been coming here uh, since uh, almost 17, 18 years. I particularly found being here around this to be a real incarnational experience because let's face it, you don't get much more analogical and earthly than uh, a dressed statue parading around the grounds with pilgrims, some of whom actually do it barefoot. So there's this real kind of basic incarnational goodness of God, goodness of creation. And yet everyone comes here with their own problems and their own difficulties. So it's not kind of this um, kind of airy fairy, you know, ain't the world beautiful kind of a thing, but the world is beautiful and it's got pain and suffering in it and we bring all of that together and it makes sense and meaning for that. How many what? years, Doug, have you been coming here? Yourself, 40. 40 years? So, you say you've been coming here for how long? Well, actually since, let's make it 65 years, I'm 66 now. To me, it's, it's the most precious memories that I have of coming to the shrine. So first of all, we're very grateful to have everybody here. Grateful to Giles and Pastel for making this part of the division program now. It's great for the pilgrims to see uh, younger friars, novices, especially this international representation that we have here. I think that's very positive, very good, and uh, hopefully there might be some other people interested in our lifestyle when we see us, when they see us out there and see you specifically. I think one of the most important things that we do during these days of pilgrimage is our presence, our visibility and our presence. So the habit is very important these days, even when it gets hot. The habit is very important, and visibility is very important. So you might have discovered already the field beginning right behind the, the buildings over here, and then all the way down behind the houses down to the Shrine Park will be filled with campers and tents. Right. Over the years, we've had different rites and different nationalities. It's kind of evolved. Um, originally, the place was founded as a shrine for Luxembourgers. That's the or the consolation is the patron saint of Luxembourg, and they brought the statue from Luxembourg um, to really build up the local Catholic community here. The story is that when the statue was brought in procession the seven miles from Frenchtown, uh, where it first arrived, they carried it in procession. It rained on both sides of the procession, but not on the procession itself. So they got into the white church across the street, which was on the side of the present basilica. When they got inside, then it started to pour down rain. And from that event, that's the, where the story began, and there are descendants of those who carried the statue and walked in that procession, still part of the parish today, and they'll tell you all their connections to that. But that's what made this a shrine, and the events that have happened since then, there are many artifacts in the lower basilica for healings and prayers that have been answered, many different things. So, basilica. But everything was finished basically the way it looks today by 1926. The artist's rendition, rendition of Christ in the center there with angels and saints above Christ is the Holy Spirit and then above that is the hand of God the Father coming out of heaven. And then you'll see on the other side, on the right side is Mary, she has her hand on her heart, she's looking up to Jesus and her other hand is touching on the hem of his cloak because in the scriptures we read if I but touch the hem of his cloak, I would be healed. This is the, this is the original statue that was brought here in 1875. She has a heart hanging from her arm, and that is a representation of all the prayers and petitions that people send to us. Obviously, we try to save some of them that send them in the mail, but we can't save them all. 
This book here has thousands of names every day. Anybody that writes in or calls in, we put their name in this book and the friars pray for them. This basket here was left here by P.J. Columbus in 1917. And that's the first documented case by physicians that we have where somebody was completely paralyzed and they were blind. They were brought, he was brought here on two separate occasions. The first time he was healed of his blindness and the second time he was healed of his paralysis. And of course, nowadays people come, we have lots of people write in and call in and say, uh, you know, that I had uh, stage four cancer, I had a brain tumor, I went to the doctor, they gave a test or, you know, ran a test or whatever, and it was completely gone. And of course, there's no explanation for it. And they, they contribute that to coming here and praying at Our Lady of Constance. These cases back here are, of course, the cases where we keep the dresses. These are fairly new. There's over 325 of them in here right now. Uh, we have lots more of them that we have in storage that we don't have out. All the dresses that people make, of course, are made out of love with hand, you know, hand sewn and hand stitched and everything as a sign of their thanksgiving for some favor that they receive from God. And they, uh, through the intercession of Our Lady. At the end of every devotion, and today would be a good time to learn how it works, we have a bus coming in, and there's devotions at 2.30. Uh, the 2.30 devotions, at the end of that, there are healing prayers, and the friars line up and pray with the pilgrims one-on-one. -on -one. And that is the thing that people most remember about their visit to the shrine, and how it differs from a lot of other places, is that they have a chance to pray one-on-one -on -one with the friars. This is something around which you can really get 30 or 40 friars giving a very corporate witness to the way we work. And ministry is one of the constitutive things of Franciscan identity, fraternity, ministry, and prayer. And the people of God can see us a lot of time at prayer together, and they can see us at fraternity together, and things like convocations and friars days and assemblies. But it is difficult to organize and have something where they see us work fraternally with one another. And I really think that's an excellent witness value and it's a good experience. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is And you keep coming back now, I notice. So what, what draws you back? Well, mainly because of Our Lady of Consolation. I mean, we're always praying for Our Lady to help us. Okay. The big event is the Vigil Mass tomorrow night. It uh, begins at 9 o'clock, candlelight procession. We begin in the Basilica, lined up. Brother Randy will give us all the instructions. The diocesan seminarians from the Diocese of Toledo will be part of that. It's a very beautiful thing. Hopefully the rain has passed through before that time. Last year we had a minor miracle as we were out at the park and there was a little sprinkle, a tiniest sprinkle right at the Alleluia that sent me into panic, but uh, it passed. We had nothing happen, but over at the edge of town they had an inch of rain during that time. So. Thank you.
actually we like the shrine, we like when they go up there and do a mask, you know, with the candles in their hands, and this is really nice. That's, that's, that's the best I've seen here. It's like it's like it's like you're it's a heaven. Like people pass by you here with the candle, they go up there, two, three, four thousand people. They all listen to the mass. They're praying. And they all want to touch the statue, so we have to discourage that. The statue is 137 years old and a little bit delicate, so you will see at the vigil mass on the 14th an actual mob trying to get at the statue. That's why our our presence together and wherever Brother Randy asks you to be in the procession is very important whenever we have processions, including tonight at the Novena prayers and then especially tomorrow night. they brought with them from Iraq where they would celebrate the Assumption of Mary for three days on pilgrimage, sleeping in the streets, in cars, on the road, wherever they could sleep. And once they got established here, they pretty quickly established that tradition here in Cary. So. This is our prayer this evening for the ninth day of our divina. resurrection of the body and life everlasting. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Give us this day our daily bread, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. 
Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. of the Blessed Virgin Mary raised her to this grace that your only begotten Son was born of her according to the flesh and that she was crowned this day with unsurpassing glory. Grant that her, through her prayers that saved by the mystery of your redemption we may merit to be exalted by you on high. Usually on the 14th, the night of the 14th, you can expect all kinds of bonfires and shish kebabs roasting and people walking through the fields and dancing and music and everything. It's a real feast in every sense of the word. And they're delighted when the friars go through there. They're delighted when the friars go through there. So go through, visit, mingle with people. Just be open to the experience and let it happen. It's usually a fun thing, an inspirational thing. and. Uh, a great fraternal experience as well. Priceless, this place is priceless. It's... We never missed one. We've been doing it, especially my mom, last 20 years almost. We never missed one. Yeah. And what, what keeps you coming back? You know, it's uh, faith and uh, at the memorial of uh, the mother we've been coming because of, you know, this all the years everybody's doing it. And, you know, we've been blessed. So what are you all cooking tonight? Barbecue. <laughs> we got chicken, uh, beef, uh, hot dogs, hamburger, and if you guys like, just enjoy it with us. Oh, it's a feast. Like the procession. Oh, it's beautiful. Absolutely amazing. Oh, my gosh. We're, we're family here, this family there. We're we're all family here. Everybody's one big happy family. I have two grandchildren, and I told my son and daughter-in-law that they they should come with me. You know, uh, pretty soon because I want my grandchildren to have at least one memory. If they come one time, they can have a memory of this. You want to hand on that tradition, oh, that family absolutely, tradition. Absolutely, absolutely, because our mother is, you know helping us through good times and through bad times. And hopefully we won't have as many bad times because she is helping us. Just 